Pluto is a far-off and baffling dwarf planet that was once an individual member of our planetary system's family. However, recent surprising declarations by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and MIT's Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a stunning disclosure. They propose that this cold world is on a potential crash course with Neptune. But how might this happen, and what might be the results of such a massive event? Are we seeing an unusual cosmic phenomenon, or is there something more to this looming celestial crash? Join us as we explore the potential outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune impact. Pluto, a former planet that was downgraded to a dwarf planet in part because of its peculiar orbit, remains a subject of interest and study in the galactic community. According to recent predictions by leading researchers, Pluto's orbit is perilously close to Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alarm about a potentially dangerous collision between these two planets, which could pose a significant risk to Earth. But how is such an event even possible? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike any other planet in our solar system. It takes a staggering 248 years to complete a single orbit, meaning that since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even finished one full revolution yet. The interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its highly elliptical shape, straying significantly from the near-circular orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more curious is its inclination, calculated at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The path Pluto follows is much more extreme compared to other planets. This inclination and eccentricity add layers of complexity to its orbital pattern. One of the most intriguing aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's path. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually draws closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying what we might expect based on their positions in the solar system. This leads to the natural question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational effects of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery. Initially, astronomers tried to figure out its unusual path. Unlike the other planets, whose orbits lie relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stood out with its steep inclination and elongated shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit actually crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit amid these complexities is evidence of the intricacies of space mechanics. The three-body problem in space is about figuring out how three objects like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun move and influence each other with their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they start and how they pull on one another. In Pluto's case, this issue shows how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complicated way. The terms alpha libration and scope libration, along with the VZK oscillation, are part of this puzzle. According to astrophysicists, what keeps all planets in their orbits is a phenomenon called alpha libration. In the case of Pluto and Neptune, this term means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is located no less than 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in preventing their orbits from intersecting. Scope libration, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is arranged entirely above their orbital plane, providing an extra layer of protection from potential collisions. Another significant factor in this scenario is the VZK oscillation, named after three researchers, von Zeipel, Lidov, and Kozai, who studied how things move in space. It's about how three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on one another with their gravity. This gravitational pull influences how they move. In Pluto's case, VZK helps us understand why its orbit around the Sun is so unusual. Despite its seemingly erratic path, this oscillation helps keep it moving smoothly for billions of years. The VZK oscillation shows that even if things in space seem chaotic and random, some patterns and rules keep everything in order. These factors help maintain Pluto's orbit, ensuring it doesn't collide with Neptune or get thrown off course. This three-body problem is essential for understanding how these orbits change because of the way these space objects pull on each other. Studying this helps us learn more about Pluto, our solar system, and distant worlds and stars. Mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that despite these stable properties, Pluto's orbit is actually chaotic, with minor deviations in initial conditions leading to significant differences over millions of years. However, these unique properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over very long timescales, effectively keeping the chaos under control. Recent computer models have helped us understand how the giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's path around the Sun. Neptune has a special relationship with Pluto where for every two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This connection helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. But Neptune isn't the only factor. 
Jupiter's gravity also plays a huge role in safeguarding Pluto's orbit, and Saturn contributes as well. These tests show that Jupiter's gravity alone is strong enough to ensure Pluto stays on a stable path for a truly extended period of time, potentially billions of years. So, it's as though Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to make sure Pluto continues to move safely in space without running into trouble. These phenomena are essential in the context of the universe for maintaining order and consistency in the movement of celestial bodies. Without these mechanisms, the solar system as we know it would be a place of much greater chaos and unpredictability. Bodies like Pluto might collide with others or be ejected from their stable orbits, leading to a domino effect on other celestial objects. For Pluto, particularly in the discussions about it potentially colliding with Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is crucial. This gives us a clearer picture of the solar system's dynamic nature. The case of Pluto illustrates how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can achieve a state of harmony through the complex interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of ongoing observation and investigation of these phenomena to better understand our place in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often leads us to confront the strange nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is a great example of this oddness. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the delicate dependence of a celestial body's path on its initial conditions, is distinctly illustrated in the case of Pluto. This means that even slight changes in the dwarf planet's position or speed can dramatically shift its long-term course. In the vast expanse of our solar system, Pluto occupies a unique place that challenges how we understand planetary classification and dynamics. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has undergone extensive study, leading to significant revelations about its composition and behavior. One of the most fascinating aspects of Pluto is its surface, which is a complex tapestry of ice, rock, and other compounds. The New Horizons mission, which flew by Pluto in July 2015, provided exceptional details about this distant world. The surface of Pluto is characterized by vast plains, towering mountains, and deep valleys. One of the most striking features is Sputnik Planitia, a massive heart-shaped plain primarily composed of nitrogen ice. This region showcases a diverse array of geological features, including large ice blocks and what appear to be flowing glaciers. The presence of these features suggests that Pluto may still be geologically active, despite its great distance from the sun and low temperatures. Another fascinating aspect of Pluto is its atmosphere, primarily composed of nitrogen with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. Pluto's atmosphere is thin, but it displays intriguing seasonal variations. As Pluto approaches the Sun in its elongated orbit, its atmosphere can expand and contract. This dynamic behavior is a reflection of the complex relationship between Pluto and its environment. During its closest approach to the Sun, some of the atmospheric gases may freeze out onto the surface, while as it moves farther away, these gases can sublimate back into the air. The interaction between Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, also adds complexity to the system. Charon is relatively large compared to Pluto, with a diameter about half that of Pluto itself. This size ratio means that both bodies are in mutual orbit around a point in space that lies between them, rather than Pluto simply orbiting Charon. This unique relationship contributes to the gravitational dynamics in the region, affecting the orbits of other objects in the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune populated by small icy bodies, is home to many other dwarf planets and potential impactors. This belt is a repository of ancient material from the early solar system, offering researchers a glimpse into its formation. Pluto's orbital characteristics may offer insights into the migration patterns of these distant objects, suggesting that interactions with larger planets may have played a key role in shaping their current orbits. One of the key implications of understanding Pluto's orbital elements is the potential impact on our understanding of the solar system's evolution. The gravitational influences from nearby giant planets like Jupiter and Neptune can alter the trajectories of smaller bodies, including those in the Kuiper Belt. Such interactions can lead to shifts in orbits, potentially causing collisions or ejections from the solar system. As researchers continue to explore the details of these interactions, they may uncover broader patterns that govern the behavior of celestial bodies throughout the cosmos. The study of Pluto also raises philosophical questions about order in cosmology. The decision to rename Pluto as a dwarf planet in 2006 was controversial, sparking debates about what defines a planet. The global astronomical community's definition focused on criteria like orbital dominance and size, leaving many to consider whether this categorization fully captures the complexity of celestial bodies like Pluto. This debate echoes broader questions about classification systems in science and their capacity to accommodate the intricate variability seen in nature.
With an array of challenges ahead, understanding Pluto's orbit continues to capture the interest of scientists. Each new discovery adds nuance to our conception of the solar system, showing that even in its distant reaches, mysteries abound. As astronomers refine their tools and models, the story of Pluto may reveal new insights into the complex dance of cosmic bodies. As technology advances, further exploration of Pluto, its moons, and its orbit promises to yield even more surprises. Future missions to the Kuiper Belt could provide deeper insights into how these distant objects interact, offering new perspectives on the evolution of our solar system.